What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about The Outfit. So The Outfit is a movie that actually came out last week and I decided to go check out A24's new film X instead but I'm so happy I went back to the theaters to check this one out. This one is written and directed by Graham Moore and it was also written alongside him by Jonathan McClain and stars people like Mark Rylance, Zoe Deutsch, Dylan O'Brien, Johnny Flynn, and many others. One of the first things that caught my ear while watching this film was the score, and I was not surprised while also being pleasantly surprised to find out later on when I sat down to write down my uh, notes for this review that it was actually composed by Alexandre Desplat, who is a fantastic, fantastic composer, and anytime I've ever seen his name pop up on a film, I'm almost always impressed. This film also had great cinematography and was done by uh, Dick Popes, which I thought well, was really well shot. I thought the film was really Really strong in terms of its visuals and yeah let's get into my overall thoughts on this movie so this was a movie that I was really intrigued by when I first started seeing the posters for it and the trailer there was something about the film that looked like it was gonna be a really really good film and it would have been my movie of choice last week as the new movie release to go check out had X from a24 not come out but a24 just has this leash on me in a way where their films are just so bizarre that if there is one showing near me I'm typically gonna go and check that movie out just for the sake of being a part Part of the conversation but man I was so happy to see this film it comes to us from focus features and overall I found this to be an incredibly well put together film that's incredibly clever in its script its dialogue and its characters there are so many setups and callbacks over the course of the film whether in a humorous way something that's really comedic a little small moment or in a really great plot changing moment overall I found this film to be very engaging from beginning to end and Mark Rylance I have to give massive props to for carrying this movie on his shoulders. Now, of course, there was so much talent behind the screen and on the screen, and there are so many actors over the course of this film that do help with the carrying of this film. But Mark Rylance 100% is what sells this movie as the main star of this film. And let's talk a little bit about what this movie is all about. So the outfit focuses on this man who is a tailor, or as he says, is a cutter, who came from London long ago and is now just trying to be a simple man running his business. And, you know, not only does he serve your just typical everyday guy who's coming Coming in to get a suit made he'll also serve people who are not that good criminals because for him he's like we can't just serve angels in this shop if not we won't make any money but not only does he also serve criminals in his shop he also allows one group of individuals a group of crime individuals a gang if you will uh, to actually have a black box in his back room where essentially they can come in whenever they want they can leave notes and receive notes from other individuals from their gang and overall they kind of use this as a base of operations if they need to or in the case of this movie, they end up coming and bringing trouble to this tailor shop. Now, I don't want to get too much deeper into what really happens in the story because this is a movie filled with twists and turns, ups and downs, and all kinds of things going on when it comes to the narrative and a lot of the things that are unfolding over the course of the film. I was pleasantly surprised while watching this film to see how it would actually play out. This is a movie that takes place all in one location, and overall, I found this to be super engaging from beginning to end. There are tons of characters that come in and out of this story, and just to see this, you know, premise that takes place at a tailor shop it's just so interesting so unique and so different this was something i was really intrigued by sitting down to check out this movie i really enjoyed seeing these characters unfold over the course of the film and by the time the movie was over i just sat there thinking wow i really didn't know where this movie was going to go from the start and it never went anywhere that i nearly expected it to there was consistent surprises and this was one of those movies where i was able to just kind of sit back and watch the movie and let things unfold in front of me without me trying to predict every turn because ultimately I really didn't see where it was going in a lot of ways. There were so many moments where you think you know what's going on but ultimately you'd end up being surprised and again I really have to give massive praise to Mark Rylance who really carried this film and again everybody else gives a really great film and uh and again, everybody else gives a really great performance in here. I thought Dylan O'Brien was really strong in this film. Uh, Zoe Dush, I thought was really great in this film as well. And overall, I think the cast was really strong. I also really want to praise Johnny Flynn. You know, he plays a really big part of this film and his performance was super believable. And everybody takes us back to the time. It is a period piece. And overall, I really just thoroughly enjoyed taking us back to a very different time in Chicago's history, being able to kind of see something that feels very old school American in its filmmaking. And overall, there was a lot about this film that overall on a film 
filmmaking level, on a story level, on a performance level that I really thoroughly enjoyed. This is a movie I highly recommend, and if you can check it out in theaters while it's still there, I do highly recommend it. But even if you can't check it out in theaters or you don't want to go back to theaters just yet because of COVID or whatever the case may be, whenever this movie does become available for rent, purchase, or available on a streaming service, I do highly recommend checking out the movie because it's one of those movies that I feel could go under the radar and 110% does not deserve to go under the radar. If you are a fan of crime thrillers, this is definitely a movie to check out. There's a lot about this film that gives it its own identity and the story was so cleverly written that I was also consistently engaged throughout and the movie also has a really great little sprinkling of humor throughout. This is a very serious movie that takes place in a very serious situation but it does have fun with it at times and it uses levity in the perfect moments to really tell a really great story and expand upon these characters. So that's going to be my thoughts on the outfit. If you have not checked out this movie, I do highly recommend it. If you enjoy my videos and you trust my opinion on films, even 1%, this is definitely one that I highly recommend and I had a lot of fun checking out. And I would probably say it's one of my favorite films that I've seen theatrically this year. So yeah, this is a movie I definitely look forward to hearing about from other people as far as their thoughts and a movie I look forward to revisiting at some point. So a big thanks to you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.